Welcome to Studio City Opera. My name is Mother Hubbard, and I have nothing in my cupboard. <laughs> we thank you for supporting Studio City Opera, and all donations are welcome. Our mission is to make opera and classical masterpieces accessible to all ages. Our founder, Rosie, developed the method for engaging very young children in the classics. Teach children the major themes of each movement and have them write a story to accompany the music. This afternoon, you will hear the timeless melodies of the Bach Piano Concerto, D minor. The children help write the accompanying story. We are looking for a star. Now, I would like to introduce our conductor, Sarah Danielle. Thank you all for coming. I want to uh, uh, introduce our wonderful musicians, uh, Tatevi and Hostrov. It's a, a father-daughter team. Wow. Oh. Wow. And when our founder, Rosie, passed away about 10 months ago, I was flooded with emails. When is the funeral? You want to come to a funeral? And I said, she would not want that. She would want this. She would want us to continue and play music and live and continue with the joy and magic of children and the season. Yes. Thank you. And now, I would like to introduce the children of the Montessori Children's Academy. Yay! Bonjour tout le monde. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello. 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 Yes, right, right. Well, little Petunia. Petunia was in her bed in her cozy little house, and suddenly in the middle of the night, she wo Where's the snow sound? Right, right. And suddenly in the middle of the night, she woke up because she saw a light in the sky. Yes, and the first thought she had was, I'm going to go see my best friend, whose name was Bear who was fast asleep in his house, just down the block. What is Bear's house? <laughs> Petunia came to Bear's house, knocked on the door, which was open, because this was a little village. Not like L.A., but there was a lot. And she walked right in. And she, and she knocked, well, she knocked, yes. There was a good sound effect. I love that everybody's doing sound effects, right? Okay. And then she said, Wake up, Bear. Wake up. There's a beautiful star shining over the mountain. But Bear was, was reluctant. He was having a beautiful dream. Oh. Uh, I don't want to get up. I'm having a beautiful dream. I'm dreaming about what Bear's dream about. What did Bear's dream about? Honey. Whoa. Food. Garbage. Yes. Big dumpsters filled with food and leftovers. Oh, come on, Bear. Wake up. It was so quiet in the village. So quiet in the village when Bear woke up. You could hear a pin drum. Oh, Bear. Come on, Bear. Let's get our flashlights and go and climb the mountain and see the beautiful star. Oh, oh, all right. That sounds like fun. I'll, I'll get my flashlight and we'll go climb the mountain. So they 
start it outside. And what does snow sound like when you walk on it? Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, it actually doesn't sound like crunch, but it sounds like <laughs> And then, also the wind on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. All right. So they're marching up the mountain, right? And, and, and finally, they get to this beautiful snowy vista, and they can see all around. Oh, oh look at that. It's so beautiful up here, isn't it, Petunia? Oh, yes. I told you it would be beautiful. What's that? Suddenly, boom! They fell yeah. down into a snowbank, no. and they were, there's like an avalanche was all over them, and they were buried in the snow. Hold that for a second. And then suddenly, you guys know what his name is? Yeah, Harold. Yeah. Harold. Harold. Hello, my name's Harold. I'm the knight of the mountain. Yeah, well, You're funny. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, no, I guess I'm from, you know, I'm just how I talk, you know. Anyway, look. <laughs> dug them out of the snow bank and, and then he said, let me take you, let me take you to the top of the mountain. Ooh. Thank you very much. <laughs> so they walked up to the, thank you so much. They walked up to the top of the mountain, and, but they didn't know what was happening because behind them there was something terrible. Ooh. 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 You'll never get to the top of the mountain. Never. The spider didn't want them to go to the top of the mountain. And that was it. Suddenly, they heard a noise, like four people playing music.
Harold. Hello, everyone. It's me, Harold. Petunia it's and Bear here. reached the top of the mountain. And what did they see there? They saw a, a beautiful unicorn with a brilliant star shining around her neck. But the unicorn looked very sad. Unicorn? Hey, oh, we're children from the village. We climbed the mountain just to see your beautiful star. How come you're so sad? I am sad, children, because my best friend, Princess, got lost during a great big snowstorm. Oh, no. I'm shining my star so that she can find her way home. Oh, that's true. We, 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 we want to help you, don't we? We want to help you, kid. We want to help you find the princess, but we're afraid of slipping and falling on the snow. <laughs> Hey, what's that? No, what's that strange sound we're just? I don't know. I thought I heard something like a cackling or something of something terrible. I'm sorry. What did you say again? You'll never find the princess. Mm. You'll never get up to the mountain or anything. But on the time around. Oh, that's a terrible spider. The only way we can combat the spider is if we stand up and sing. Sing a song, maybe. Anybody yeah. have any idea about standing up? Standing up and singing against that spider. Ready?
then I will make you a magic sled so you can go and look for the princess. Which, with a wave of her wand, Unicorn made a magical sled. Now Bear and Petunia and Harold, Bear and Petunia and Harold <laughs> climbed on the sled and they zoomed across the mountain looking for the princess. Now from the air, Harold the Knight looked down and saw Spider creeping in near a big cave all blocked with spider webs. Harold jumped off the sled and landed right next to Spider. <coughs> oh, oh, on guard, Spider, I will fight you. Oh, no, you won't. No, I, 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 Spider right through the brain. <laughs> you know, the way you kill lobsters humanely. And then he noticed there was a cave. A cave next to the, sp the spider had wrapped in webs. And he wondered, I wonder who's in that cave. Does anybody else wonder? Because I definitely wonder. <laughs>
And the spider is alive, bro. Really. Oh,